What do you think about when I say Christmas? Well, I think about all the aromas of Christmas, the pine trees, the mulled wine, all those beautiful spices and oranges. Why not add, though, another aroma to that list? And that is the aroma of roasting gammon. Now, you and I know that Christmas actually isn't just one day. It's probably a whole fortnight of visitors, people coming and going, you cooking, preparing food, putting it away, getting it out again. And that's why gammon is probably your perfect food, because it is so versatile and it's easy to cook. Now, if you're not used to buying gammon, the first thing you should always do is use your eyes. Just look at this. It's nice, it's pink, it's succulent. But as a safety blanket, this is what you're looking for. Quality bacon standard. You know where the source of the meat is and you know that you're supporting farmers. Now, as a rule of thumb, as far as weight is concerned, you're looking for about 100 grams per person and 200 grams if it's on the bone. So many different ways that you can cook gammon, but this one I'm going to cook in ginger beer. First of all, I'm going to take my bottle of ginger beer and I'm going to pour it all over the gammon. You'll see that in the tray, I've lined it with some foil and that's going to hold in all the juices. Wrapped up and popped into the oven. Now it's time to make the clementine relish. All you need to do is chop up an onion and with a little bit of oil, cook it until it looks a sort of light brown colour. Then you want a handful of clementine into that. Then two spoons of brown sugar, a little splash of orange, and then this, some ginger preserve. All in there, put it back onto the heat, mix it all up, and when you have done, it should end up looking something like that. And that you're going to serve with your gammon. I promise you it is delicious. Once it's out of the oven, leave it to cool down just so you can handle it and you want to cut off that hard skin there. Then you're left with a very succulent piece of gammon. So score it. Because you're going to put some preserve over the top, it means that that preserve soaks into the meat just that little bit more. Get the ginger preserve and put it all the way over the top and push it into those little crevices that you've created. And then you pop it back inside the oven. And now it's all finished and I can cut into it. Just look at how succulent that is. And you can see the beautiful glaze there that's over the top. I'm going to serve it with the clementine relish that we made together with some very traditional roast potatoes and some roast vegetables there. Now a few other things that you can make with gammon. Um, look at this Thai green broth. How beautiful is that? A lovely potato salad. I'm putting gammon in that as well. And how about this tart? This is just bought, rolled out, puff pastry. It looks very elegant, but natural fat is really easy to make. And it's got chestnuts in and cranberries, and obviously or pieces of gammon. Very good to use with the little leftovers there. Now, if you're interested in making any of these recipes, you can get this book. All you need to do is to go to the website, which is lovepork.co.uk, and you can download this leaflet here. So all I need to say to you is a very happy Christmas.